First responders from Ohio and neighboring states are getting hands on training to help them prepare for a train emergency following the derailment in East Palestine. Our Bree Buckley has more. Ultimately, you don't need to know the different models. It doesn't matter. It's just who makes it. Training is underway for an expected 400 first responders from Ohio, Pennsylvania and West Virginia over the next two weeks. That battery knife switch is located in the compartment. The training session at Norfolk Southern's Bellevue facility as the company works to highlight its safety efforts weeks after the fiery train derailment in East Palestine on February 3rd. Safety is first, and so what we're doing is we're working with the NTSB, we're working with the FRA, and we're working with our customers to identify what we need to learn from to make Norfolk Southern an even safer railroad coming out of East Palestine. Among the topics, identifying and understanding what's on the tank cars, like valves and different fittings, as well as what emergencies could happen on the railroad, how to respond, and how to tell what a rail car is carrying. You usually just see the placards on the side of the rail cars, so you kind of guess what's in them. A handful of East Palestine's firefighters at the first day of training. Anybody has a rail running through their community, they need to take the class. The village's deputy fire chief calling the training very helpful and informative, but says the derailment was too big of an incident for it to have made a difference. Uh, it's a whole different situation on February 3rd, so we wouldn't have been able to do what we learned today anyhow. Earlier today, Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw gave his support to certain legislative efforts to enhance rail safety, like training for emergency crews, reviewing regulations for rail care inspections, and phasing out older tank cars quicker. But he did not address key parts of the Railway Safety Act, like fines for safety violations and designating trains carrying flammable gas as highly hazardous. Laura. All right, Bree Buckley, live for us in the studio. Bree, thanks. Of course.